to meet my mom and my stepdad mm-hmm. and um we were in his car but um i drove it whatever whatever case may be no he drove it but whatever so they meet we're walking out of my grandma's house because that's where they were at the time and we both i go to one side of the car i go to the drop side he goes to the passenger side and my mom's like wait a minute here like <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute mm-hmm. Why he ain't opening your door? <laughs> on the driver's side? Like you yes, was driving? Why I was would, dri- why she he- don't care about none of that. You need to open my door when I get in the car. You need to open my door when I get out of the car. You need to open my door going into the restaurant. You need to always open my door. Okay. Period. Okay. That's the type of time my mom was going. I was kind of embarrassed because as a millennial, mm-hmm. we're, we're taught. Mm-hmm. So much to be independent. You can do this by yourself. You can do this on your own. You don't need nobody to do this. You don't need nobody to do that. You can do this. You, can do this. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's not nothing that, 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 like he opened my door and we would go places, yes, but it wouldn't be so dramatic as to him opening my car door or anything. Okay. And I didn't count that as being disrespectful or anything because that shit is not being like, it's normal for me. Mm-hmm. But to my mom, she's like, oh no, that's not going to work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so let, let's get into that, right? Let's dissect that, right? Because when you just brought that up, it just got me to thinking, okay, as a guy, what is it that we really want in that? What is, is it that the door, does it matter that the door, what if it wasn't called a door? What if it was called? All right, you get real deep. <laughs> no, no, like, 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 what if it was called like a penguin? We would be like, yo, open that penguin. Why? So it's not the door. It's not that it's a door. It's the fact of whether somebody, as a man, thinking about your well-being beyond in the benefit of himself. Right. That's the question. That's that's the true question. Like, are you doing this because you really care about my safety? Right. And you really care that I'm safe to get in the car. Right. Or you really care that I'm not getting my hair wet. Right. Or you really care that if somebody walks in this in this building that you're facing the door so that way you can save me exactly in the bed are you the one closest to the door or are you not the one closest to the door like right. stuff like that all Why? of that is done because you care about my well exactly don't do it like you said because you want something from me right and, and don't just make it something that you just do in the beginning and so on Which that note don't. right because like as a guy like it goes back to what do you have to offer so you might not open the door, the door for your wife 40 years from now after you done every single time of, of her door if she's driving. You might not do that every time. And then her mom is looking like, dang, he done did it four million times, but this the one time he didn't do it. Now he ain't shit. You got to divorce him. Like, that's not happening. No, that's not happening. Because you provide, you've shown that you put her first and cared about her, her well-being on a regular basis, it's not just about the door. But I think but, it also would happen a lot more in today's society if us as females vocalize like, um, you need to get my door. Well, um, well why though? Because that's what made me think about it is like, if you had a conversation with a guy, do you actually care about the door being open or do you care that he appreciates you? I care that he appreciates me. And, and how he you, shows that. And how you show it. Correct. Because the little things that he can't, like, it's not, even if he has the money to buy you food, right? Like, if it's your first date, to assume that somebody's going to come out of their pocket when you have the money to pay for it. Well, first of all, let's talk about that. In my eyes, whoever asks to go on the date, and if you're calling it a date, then mm-hmm. you're the person that needs to pay for it. I agree with that. If I ask you to go to the movies with me, then I should be expecting to pay for your movie ticket. I agree with that. And whatever else. I agree. Well, I guess whatever else. 
I agree. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If we're calling you, can't always be like, now, man, this ain't gonna never set up no dates. In your situation with this friend, girl, she ain't this nobody's was not a friend date. now because she didn't block mine. I'm just saying, like, you made it clear we're friends. This is not a date. We're doing this. We're going here as friends. Mm-hmm. She should not have expected you to pay for it. Yeah. You're right. I ain't arguing that. But but my my what I'm getting at is so we were talking about when you're early, when you're getting to know somebody early on, mm-hmm. right? And the things that you can do. Those are the things that you can do to show somebody you care that don't cost anything. That's love, don't cost a thing. And so, like, as the guy, right, especially when we're young, like that, okay, you can't buy me a house right now. Maybe you can't. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. But you can open my door. Those are the things that you, I think that as guys, like, we don't necessarily understand. I think as women, that's where the conversation shifts is like, mm-hmm. okay, I'm not expecting you to buy things for me. And, and, I, and it sucks that you even have to explain that. But then given right. the, given the situation, at least for our community, like as, the, as a black community and the history of like the destruction of the black home and just all of those different kind of things, slavery, those conversations are needed amongst the both of us to be on the same page so that later on we don't have to teach it. And it sucks that we have to be the ones to step up to the plate and do it. But it, at some point it had to be done. Somebody had to step up to the plate. So, so I think... Like, that's where all of that materialistic and all of this stuff is lost. Like, we, we I don't know, I don't know if, if people are having these conversations in their home. I don't um, know if people are having these conversations in their relationships. I don't think people are, because even with me growing up, I saw my mom and dad, I saw my dad do things for my mom, and mm. I saw my mom do things for my dad. Like, they had like a 50-50 type of relationship. That's real. From what I know, seen as a kid. Yeah. Um... And my mom, you know, always, always number one taught me to have my own. Like, yeah. you need to have your own. You don't never need to depend on nobody. And I think that's a, a, that's like a number one rule. I wish I could look it up and see how factual it is. But I feel like in the black household, those who have mothers, who have had any type of guardian, mother, aunt, whatever that cared about you, has told you that. You're right. I, I almost, I can bet on that. I, I think that's like, a, I think that's, that's, a, that's a common thing. As a black woman, it needs to be somebody need to to create this rule book. Yeah, black black household rules. Black household. I don't know, Mike. We might need to. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. Look, it's already put out. I ain't look. Look, look, we already did it. Don't even, don't even try. You already getting sued up. Don't try. (laughs) This is under our business. The black household rules. That's cold. Yeah, we're gonna talk, we're gonna yeah, we about to talk more. about that on camera for sure. That's cold blooded right there. That will be a platinum seller. I think so too. I think that's a rules really good of the idea. black household. Household Ooh. rules. Black household rules. The black house. The black, the house. black house. Yo, you giving them too much, Jazz. They gotta right, tune we're, in. We're they gotta right tune in. We ain't, we ain't gonna talk about that no more. Just, just know. Trying the podcast presents the black, the black house. household. Oh, the black house. Mm-hmm. That's nice. You know what? I know. I know. No. 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 I think we're on the same. Yeah. 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 I've been thinking it. That's why I was like, no, I'm about to say that. But um, yeah. Like, I just feel like almost every guy that talk who came out of a black household that you know you need to always have your own facts. Period. Facts. Facts. Because of, like you said, because of our history, because of where we came from, because as a black woman, we're see, like the the lowest of the totem pole. It's like black men, then black women. Like we're all low, but you know what I'm saying? We're low, low. So it's like, you know, you can't never show nobody that you can't do for yourself in any situation, financially. That's a tough, that's knowledge a tough wise, conversation. Education wise. That's a, I'm not going to get into that particular. Yeah, that's a that's a whole nother. That's uh, a wise a wise young woman once said it's oppression Olympics. It's a, and just like Martin Luther King said, justice everywhere is a justice the justice anywhere is a justice, justice everywhere. everywhere. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna just leave that at that. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into which one. I mean, is I don't worse. know the yeah. I'm not now this disclaimer. Yeah. I'm not that's not facts. I don't know, but I'm just saying there's. Yeah, in your experience, because of how women have been treated in history, black women, because it's different, 
Mm-hmm. We're not getting into that. It's <laughs> a lot. Like you said, it's different times. Yeah. Different times yeah, that yeah, different women have been treated certain ways and different minorities. Yeah. And I should a, probably say minority women. There's for a, lack of a better mm, word. Mm, we, we, we're just going we to well, close yeah, the book stuck. on that. Just yeah. <laughs> leave that alone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll say that for another time. Anyway, anyway, so, no, I definitely understand what you're saying, and, um, and, and, and that's, and that's the, that's how I look at it. Like, if I had a daughter, that's what I'm going to teach her, like, you know, don't expect this man to know, first of all, how to treat you. Don't expect that. Teach him. Tell him what you expect and why. Not, I want you to open the door. Okay, that's the action. But what's the cause effect on that why do you and hopefully you won't have to tell him why because he in his He'll household they will teach exactly. him why you should do this yeah well, because you want to protect her you want to make sure she's always okay you want to do that the third you don't want to do it just for your own reason you exactly. want to do it because you want to show her that you care for hopefully her you, you with a guy her. who just cares about people not just the fact that he yeah, thinks people. he because because if he don't care about nobody else then he meets you, and now he starts caring about you. The day he stopped caring about you, the moment, he's going to treat you like he treated everybody else. But if he cares about people in general, he cares about life in general, even if y'all disagree, he's not going to call you a bitch. He's not going right. to treat you like you're, you, you're the scum of the earth. That's not going to happen. He's still going to speak on your name in a way. People. Yeah, exactly. And, That's a good point. And I think a lot of times, you see, those are the little things that, like, when we go out and date, I just, I personally feel like those are not the conversations we're having. At all. Those are not the things that we're Until looking it's too for. late. Yeah, we so focused Until on. Until you're so fed up that you have, you feel like you have to bring it up now. Like, I ain't said this and I got to this, but Facts. that's partially your fault. Facts. You didn't say it. Facts. And that's why you are where you are now. Facts. And that's why everything he does gets on your nerves or everything she does gets on your nerves because you let it slide true. for so long that you was too scared to say anything. Now it's a build up. And now, now that you say it, y'all part ways. You don't say what you had to say. Mm-hmm. Now y'all part ways. Mm-hmm. Instead of vocalizing it in the beginning. Facts. That's very true. So Those are not conversations we are having. And it's it's sad. Sad. <laughs> it's sad. Sad is mm. so um I don't know what, what what point we were actually at. Well, to so trickle back all the way to our <laughs> Point, which is about which gifts. is Valentine's Day and gifts, but we got all the way to dating, dating, which all kind of sums up in one. That's all. Yeah, because I mean, hopefully the person you're spending Valentine's Day with, I mean, you know, hopefully it's it's like you actually are looking to have something with this person, mm-hmm. and so like if you haven't, I ch- honestly, I challenge you, the person that's either going on a Valentine's Day. Or even if you're spending it alone, to think about some of the things that Jazz and I have been talking about. And if you are going out on these dates, like have that conversation with your significant other. Because like you should be figuring out whether it's gonna be the last Valentine's Day together. Or many or, more. Or many more to come. You know, and I don't wanna ruin your Valentine's Day. We're not trying to ruin no. it. But we do well, we ca- want it to be meaningful. Yeah. That's we care. What we want. And, and um, if you have to sit down and be like, nah, I'm really just going out to get something. I don't really care about the person. I'm just going out with them just to get a free meal or whatever. Teach his own, but I highly suggest you don't even waste your time going on that day. Facts, that's the mindset that you have. Facts. Facts. Don't even go. Bro, sis, don't go. Don't even go. Just. Well, really, sis, because nine times out of ten, he's probably paying for it's it. It's okay to be alone, yo. It's okay it to be okay. Go, go eat dinner. Or with your friends or with oh, your yeah. mom. That's with not, your that's not, yeah. That's not, that's yeah, if I could go on a um, thing with so, my mom, I would have done that for sure. It's always nice. Aunts, uncles, cousins, brother, sisters, brothers. But whatever. It's the day of love. You don't have to have a significant other. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, I'm going to a game night. My, my, one of my uh, good friends in, in from college is having a game night in Greensboro and you know? um I'm actually going to do that for Valentine's Day. See? Hang out with your friends. You mm-hmm. love them. Or you should. If you don't, they ain't really your friends. Yeah, they ain't really your friends. If you don't love them. Facts. One of my good friends, she's taking her and her daughter to Florida. Just oh, her that's her dope. Daughter. That's dope. They're going to Florida. So, they're going to have a good time. Because she's showing her daughter that she loves her. I mean, though you don't have to like it's not, be in we've a evolved, relationship. I think we've evolved past that now. To where Valentine's Day is just not, shouldn't be purely... 
just about like significant others. Yeah, I mean, maybe it it's hasn't, the but day to of me, love. it has. And you know, some people don't even celebrate Valentine's Day. Y'all feel like it's you should love everybody every day as you should, as you should. You really I should. Agree. And I, I was honestly, I was one of those people that was like, yo, Valentine's Day, like, why are we doing this? We should love people all the time, which is true, right? You should. But like, it's actually on the flip side, it's nice to have a, a, a set time where you get to do this as a society with people mm-hmm. to show like, how much you we, like. yeah, like how much we I mean, care. It's just, like, it's just like Christmas. Now we all know the true meaning of Christmas, mm-hmm. but turn into a, the gift-giving time of year. Mm-hmm. Of course, you need gifts all year round. Okay. But Christmas, what? Christmas, a lot of people go above and beyond for Christmas. Or birthday. You may get gifts all year round, but on your birthday, that's the day you were born. People may shower you with more gifts on that day. And you don't not celebrate those. Everybody doesn't. You don't celebrate, celebrate those things. But those who do, who don't agree with Valentine's Day, it's I was gonna say if you would like to see more of us please click the link in our bio or visit our YouTube channel